I'm going to show you guys a ridiculous exploit in Atomic Heart. This one completely breaks the game, and you can do it right out of the gate as soon as you get through the tutorial section of the game, so basically the underground area. And what this will let you do is this will let you get infinite amounts of neuropolymers, upgrades, everything. You can basically get all the upgrades in the game in just about two hours or so. So in order to do this, just sell what, like undo whatever skills you need to do in order to go to mass telekinesis, buy the base mass telekinesis, and then also by forced fall acceleration. Now, if you have a little bit of leftover neuropolymer, go ahead and get the amplified modulator and then also get the um, one over here. You want to go all the way to neuropolymer accelerator to reduce the cooldown of mass telekinesis. That's your goal. But at least with the base two, you'll be able to do what we're going to do here so that you can get the neuropolymers to get the next upgrades so that you can finish this off. And then we'll have more upgrades after this. So I'm going to walk you step by step. So first, you need to get that. So what that allows you to do is use this ability where you, not this one, this ability, lift things up. When the fist closes, you press it again, and it'll slam them to the ground. And slamming them to the ground does a crazy amount of damage, and it also crowd controls them. So you'll see here with these guys up in the air, slam them to the ground while well, they just died, actually. But uh, they'd be on the ground for a good, like, five seconds or so, like, four or five seconds. And you can just melee them down or whatever. But it's not just about being overpowered. So if you saw my video, that's like the most overpowered ability in the game. And I talked about that in a whole video. But now I'm going to show you a way you can use this ability in order to farm an insane amount of neuropolymer unbelievably fast. Probably faster than anything else you're going to be able to do in this game. So go to one of these. Specifically, the one that I like is this one right here at the very first place you ever go to by testing ground one. And it's going to be right there on the map. So uh, if you go to this one, there's a reason this one's insanely overpowered. And that's because when those cargo bots or whatever that bring the box, uh, when they come in, uh, they have two locations. And the most common one they go to is right here in front of your face, right in front of this thing. So it lets you farm the enemies at the fastest speed possible. Now, if they... Uh, sometimes if there's too many enemies or whatever, they may drop it by that red car, but that's still very, very close. Now, you need to make sure when doing this exploit to stay in front of this thing whenever possible. So you'll be able to uh, get away from it every now and then, but like if you stay away for too long, it will de-aggro, and then it'll stop the bringing in more enemies. So you want to stay as close to it as you can while farming these enemies. You're going to want to have killed one enemy as, as soon as you see one, which I just did, in order to bring the alarm level to level 2. And here comes our free neuropolymer. So once the box drops, make sure you don't get crushed by it, because you can. It will open up, and then you're just going to lift everybody up, and then slam them to the ground, and then melee them, and then back off and don't get hit, and then slam them again. And uh, if you have the one for the decreased cooldown, you'll be able to do that uh, back to back, basically. And so your job here now is to just hang out and kill anything that comes to you and uh, just not take damage as much as you can. Now, generally, you'll be able to get more meds than you use by looting the enemies that you kill. So it's not really a big deal. And the other thing is that the flying enemies, there's those little flyers that will come by to try to repair these guys eventually. And once you get enough corpses on the ground, you'll start seeing tons of those guys come in and you'll be able to kill those for parts as well. So once you're done farming tons of polymers and materials, all you got to do is get away from the um, surveillance thing and then just keep killing enemies until eventually they stop coming. So I just go away here. I'm already down to alert level one. The camera can't see me anymore. So I just got to clean up until they stop coming. With how OP this um, ability is, though, it doesn't really matter how many more come. I can just kill them all until they, um, you know, stop coming. Okay, so normally you'd pick up the stuff while you're doing it and whatever, but I just didn't pick up a lot of it to show you. And I didn't even, I got half as many as I normally would get because I've bugged my game out by saving and loading and moving and doing these things to where now the flyers don't come to repair these guys anymore. So I probably need to like leave the area and come back to get that to work correctly again, but it doesn't really matter. Even without this, that's how many materials I got in about eight minutes of doing this. And I actually picked a bunch up already and you pick these up and uh, you'll get all sorts of things, depending on which enemy it was. Some just give a little bit, some will give semiconductors and all sorts of valuable stuff. Some will give a ton of polymers, some will give less. Uh, so you just go out here now, 
and you pick up all those materials and then you're going to go and we're going to buy some more things in order to make this farm even better. So you don't want to farm it for like two hours right out of the gate. You're going to want to farm it for like five or ten minutes to get a few like get like 500 polymers or something. And then we're going to go back and get some upgrades and I'll show you what to get. So on your way back in, make sure to save so you don't lose all your progress on doing this. And then go up to Please this, obviously. Procedure. And we're going to get a few more upgrades now to make this way easier. So the most important things now are going to be, if you didn't already get it, get the Neuropolymer Accelerator. And then also get the neuro uh, get the borrow, borrow Trauma, just so that the Mass Telekinesis will do more damage. And at this point, it'll be way easier because you will use it way more frequently and it'll just do more damage. Now, after that, the next things I would recommend are to go to um, Shock and get uh, this one so it electrifies enemies. And then you're going to want to, I guess, priority one would be to go for the Chain Lightning and then Extended Topology. So that way you can tag them with Chain Lightning. And then also you're going to want... Um, this one where electrified targets receive increased damage. So you do it whichever order. You might want to start with the one that increases the damage and then get the chain lightning. And uh, so basically you can use shock and then pick them up and drop them and they'll do, they'll take way more damage because of uh, this, you know, perk. So that's like your next goal is to get that. Then um, also you should grab really quick at some point, grab level one polymeric shield. So that way, if you're stuck in a cooldown period, you can just put up your shield while you wait for your cooldown and just block a bunch of damage if you don't feel like dodging. Uh, the other things now is after that, you're going to go to character. You're going to get wild boar just because it, blo it blocks you from getting the others. Then you're going to get morning exercise because this lets you run fast enough to where you can sidestep a lot of attacks without having to dodge anymore. So like... The little guys with saw blades on their heads, when they dash at you, if you have this, you can just walk sideways and they'll just miss. If you don't have it, you have to actually dodge or else they'll hit you. So this makes it you can basically just run in a circle and dodge way more attacks, take way less damage. Then what you're going to do is you're going to get second wind so that you can get an additional dodge. Then you're going to get this so that dodging makes you immune to damage. But all this is just so that you can get cell division uh, so that you'll heal more HP from your meds. meds which is important because of something that you might not realize is happening when you're farming these, which if you go to your storage after doing this, you'll notice that you have a lot of meds now. So um, you randomly pick up meds when doing this, and if your inventory's full, they'll go straight to storage. And you can just farm an infinite number of meds from doing this, and then you can just grab a few meds to take with you each run, and then when you have that one perk, they'll heal you for way more. So you can just take the little small ones and then heal your brains out, basically. Um, so then, after that, you're also going to want to craft whatever the best melee weapon you have is, because melee is the main thing you'll need for this, and upgrade it as much as you see fit. And then go back to skills, and once you have even more Neuropolymer, you're going to go to character and you maybe increase your health more. And then you're also going to go to Polymeric Shield and fully upgrade the shield. So that way it'll just make it easier for you to not get, you know, messed up basically when doing this. And then you're going to go out and you're going to farm this even more. One thing to watch out for though is there's this perk right here. And I don't really advise getting this even though it blocks you from getting increased impact, which would be nice. But the problem with it is that if you accidentally activate this and then slam enemies... The slam, if you do the slam when you're out of energy and it forces it to use your HP, it will actually do so much damage to your health. Like, it'll actually do a ton of damage. So it's it's really dangerous to get this because then you actually have to pay a ton of attention and really make sure that you're not overusing your energy. So it's not really worth it. I tested it. It didn't seem very good. Uh, so definitely watch out for getting drastic measure. Additionally, I want to talk for just a second about how many resources we have. Look at the top right at how many resources I have now from uh, farming these guys. It's actually crazy how much. So I can basically buy and create and make whatever I want uh, from the weapons crafting tab. So doing this will let you get unlimited weapons, unlimited ammo, unlimited med kits. I mean, you can heal. You can go and just make them. You can upgrade them. Uh, you can just find them from killing the enemies. I mean, you just farm out of your mind by doing this stuff. It's actually crazy. So on this save file, I literally like just started my game and I can already buy uh, level four of this. So I can go ahead and upgrade level one, upgrade level two, upgrade level three, 
upgrade level four. It's crazy. Okay, let's go to crushing blow. I can just go ahead and get level one, level two, level three, and level four right now. Not even a problem. I have so many materials. If I need more, I can go get them in five minutes. I can get, you know, another 20 of all the rare ones, another few hundred of all the uh, more common ones. It's actually crazy. All right, so there you guys have it. Most insane exploit that I have found in this game so far for leveling, getting you know, all your abilities unlocked and stuff. Get all the weapons you want. I mean, now I have this crazy strong melee weapon and stuff. All my abilities, and I'm probably going to farm this for another hour and just go ahead and get every single ability in the entire game. So hopefully it helped you out, guys. Now you know the busted XP farming exploit in Atomic Heart.